The word linguistics comes from the Latin word lingua, which means tongue, and hence deals with language. A systematic study of language is called linguistics. Languages of the world differ in terms of pronunciation, vocabulary, grammar, and relationships between speakers. Linguistics is a field that provides a terminology to talk about these aspects of language, which can be used by lexicographers, language teachers, speech therapists, translators, and others. Linguistics also is useful for psychologists interested in language learning, the encoding in human mind or brain, how this knowledge of language is used by human being to perform different functions, etc. David Crystal, the authority in linguistics, calls linguistics as the science of language. It is a scientific inquiry into human language or a scientific study of the principles underlying human languages in a systematic way. If language is a special gift to human beings for expressing every single emotion, feeling, thought, logic with certain characteristic features as discussed earlier for effective communication, human languages are un unlimited with great structural complexity, so much so that every language spoken by a community looks unique. Linguistics is the scientific study of each language each dialect, each variety for all its features individually. It also aims at comprehending certain similarities and differences between the languages. Thus, explanation of the observed data of natural languages, both alive and dead, by constructing theories, rules and laws is the most important contribution of a linguist. Like a scientist, a linguist also needs to predict that which constitute potential thought, not actual. A general principle explains what has already been observed in the data and it predicts what has not been observed as yet. This could be achieved if the language is looked very objectively and the linguistic studies, the mechanism of it, that is, a linguist studies the way a language works. Hence, linguistics is a systematic study of language. Thus, the subject matter of linguistics is all natural languages, both living and dead. Linguists employ the methods of careful method, methodology to observe, record, analyze the languages and commenting upon the commonalities and differences between languages through principles and parameters. Every branch of linguist knowledge involves linguistics. As a science to study languages also has its course. Broadly speaking, the development of linguistics is understood in three different phases. The traditional phase, the structural phase, as well as the cognitive phase. But essentially, language is reduced to the abstract mental elements of syntax and phonology. It talks about the way in which the linguistic competence is achieved by going into the branches of linguistics like phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics and pragmatics. Let us try and understand what these are. Phonetics is a branch of linguistics which studies the articulation and perception of the speech sounds. Phonetics deals with the organs of speech production. It deals with the articulation, transmission and reception of the speech sounds for any or all languages of the world. Phonology, the second branch of linguistics, deals with the patterning of speech sounds. It is a study of the organization of speech into syllables and other larger units. The phonology of a language is the description of the systems and patterns of sounds that occur in a particular language. Phonetics deals with the study of the production of speech sounds by human beings, irrespective of any language. On the other hand, phonology deals with the study of the characteristics of speech sounds related to a particular language.
This is the basic difference between phonetics and phonology. Phonetics deals with the organs of speech production. Phonology, on the other hand, deals with the sounds and their changes. It can be said that phonetics is the subset of phonology. The third part of linguistics is morphology. Morphology is the study of words, how they are formed, their relationship with other words in the same language. It analyzes the structure of words and parts of words such as stems, root, words, prefixes and suffixes. Morphology also looks at parts of speech, intonation and stress and the ways context can change a word's pronunciation and meaning. Morphology deals with the sound that are related with words and the word units. Morphology differs from morphological typology, which is classification of languages based on their use of words and lexicology, which is a study of words and how they make up the language's vocabulary. The third aspect of linguistics is syntax. It is a set of rules, principles and processes that govern the structure of sentences in a given language, usually including word order. The term syntax is also used to refer to the study of such principles and processes. The goal of many syntacticians is to discover the syntactic rules common to all languages. It talks about the combination of words into phrases, clauses and sentences. The next aspect of linguistics is semantics. Semantics is the linguistic and philosophical study of meaning in language, programming languages, formal logic and semiotics. It is considered to be very important because it talks about the meaning that the words communicate. It is concerned with the relationship between signifiers like words, phrases, signs and symbols and what they stand for in reality. That is their denotative meaning. Semantics is concerned with meaning in all its aspects. The next branch of linguistics is called pragmatics. Pragmatics studies the ways in which context contributes to meaning. Pragmatics encompasses speech act theory, conversational implicature, talk in interaction, and other approaches to language behavior in philosophy, sociology, linguistics, and anthropology. Discourse analysis is the other name of pragmatics in the recent day. Thus, in this introductory lecture, we understood what language is, what its origin are, origin of English language and its development, and the basic branches of linguistics. Thank you for your patient listening. Bye for now. Stay tuned for more videos.